Black Widow engine dyno from Superflow has been on the market for over three years to great success by engine builders all over the United States. Now, for 2012, it's undergone some major refinement. I'm here with Mike Giles to find out all about it, mate. Tell us a little bit of the background of the Black Widow engine dyno to start off with. Well, we launched the uh, Black Widow in 2010. Uh, it's our highest capacity water brake engine dyno, about 11,000 RPM, uh, 3,000 horsepower, and 2,500 pound-feet of torque. Uh, the brake itself uh, works really, really well in high torque, low RPM ranges, uh, but it's real versatile because it can still spin to 11,000 RPM. So the uh, the uh, engine envelope or whatever, the applications that it uh, works in is wide range. It's been a pretty good versatile dyno for us. Who have you found to be your greatest customers for the Black Widow so far? Uh, the marine engine applications work really well, um, again, because they're high torque, low RPM kind of applications. Uh, and then also in the diesel market, it's, it's been a great asset to us. All right, for 2012, I mentioned that there were some refinements. Take us through that. Well, what we did was we tried to standardize the package. Uh, previously, it had been kind of a semi-custom unit. Uh, had to run through our enge or applications engineering group. And uh, what we've done was got rid of that step by um, standardizing a base. It's on the same base now as our SF Power Mark. So all the uh, engine carts, all the engine adapters, the drive shaft, um, and all of the uh, ancillary equipment that makes everything work is all standardized now. So it's a lot easier for the customer and the salesman to get to get the order done and um, get a system that's right for their needs. One unique feature that I can see standing here is this boom that you have coming up and over the engine. Yeah, it's uh, something we put, um, we actually learned from the DTS guys when uh, we merged a few years back, but it's been on our Nano 2S and our PowerMark uh, dynamometers for the last few years. It's been really popular. Basically the function of it is just to clean up the test cell. It mounts the cooling tower and the sensor box behind the dyno out of your way. So when you got to change a cam or adjust time and you'll work on your engine, which is uh, what you got the dyno for, all that stuff's out of your way. And it just makes the whole uh, test cell much cleaner and easier to use for the customer. When you have all those sensors and stuff dangling down, it can get a little messy. Yeah, with the, uh, the top part of the boom, we actually route, uh, there's some cable stays on there that routes all the transducer wires. And then the uh, hot engine or hot water out of the engine re actually returns through the boom to the cooling tower. So it's uh, just all around, it's, it's a much cleaner application. There are other engine dynos on the market. What makes Black Widow stand out from the rest? Well, the, uh, the real unique thing about the brake is it's low end torque capacity. At uh, 1,000 RPM, it's got something like um, 1,100 pound feet of torque that it can handle. So from, uh, from uh, low speed, um, high torque capacity, there's probably nothing like it on the market. Then the second uh, advantage of the Black Widow would just be the Superflow data acquisition and control with all the channels we have available, the different control strategies and control modes, and um, of course our Windine software is uh, pretty hard to beat. And do you have a good support system in place for the customer? Yeah, we do. We've got six full-time service guys, um, four of them in our main office in Colorado Springs, and then a couple around the country, so we can, uh, we can get to you pretty quick um, if we do need to come on site. Well, if you want to check it out for yourself, I'm talking about the Black Widow engine dyno for Superflow. Just head to superflow.com for more information.